On top of Dawei Mountain, there is this temple. It's a Taoist temple. Instead of worship any Buddhas, they worship a real person. This person named、uh, Chen Zhenren. Mr. Chen was a doctor, herbal doctor, living his life in this mountain. And、uh, later on, in the Ming Dynasty, the emperor awarded him a real Buddha because he had helped many, many people cure disease and living all his life in this temple. In the Dawei Mountain, there are total 17 hotels. Among them, there's one beautiful one. The Yuchuan Hotel has the best location right over there. In from the Yuchuan Hotel, there's a lake, and people can come here for fishing. And also, you can oh, there's a boat. I think you can catch the fish without the fishing pool. Catch some fish. Let's try to figure a way how to do this. First of all, I think I have to get the,、uh, the position right. Where do I do? Maybe I should sit here. Okay. There you go. All right. Most people come here. They can use、uh, fish boat to do the fishing. I、uh, choose this little boat. I think it's more fun because this way I can just watch the fish. Have、okay, some fun. And now I'm trying to learn how to do a turn. As you can see, my fishing trip is not successful. This is only two I got, and fish too slippery, too fast. I can't get it. I'm not a good fisherman, you can see. I think I'm gonna choose something else to do in this area. Lunch time. Food is here. You can't miss the food here. The best. I almost fall asleep right now. Ah, I know what it is. It's just typical mountain food. In the village, this is the best to have. Fresh. This is a、um, bamboo shoot. Hmm. Very fresh. Tastes good. A little bit spicy because it's Hunan. That's mushroom, pepper. <coughs> oh my God! It's very spicy. <coughs> oh, very spicy. Too spicy. It's a heaven. I'm gonna join that table as well. Eating by myself is so lonely. And here, I can share more food. And they pretend don't know me. Okay. Mushroom. What a life! 
organic fresh food in the mountain, in the middle of the mountain, living by the waterfalls, listen to the waterfalls, blue sky, green trees. One dream is not enough. Now I need another nap, another dream. Ooh. By the way, this is like living in the oxygen tank. The air, so fresh. Oh. By walking the mountain, I remember I've learned something about the forest, especially the bamboo. He says, bamboo is the most diverse group of plants in the grass family and the most primitive subfamily. It has a tropical and subtropical distribution, reaching elevations as high as 4,000 meters in the Himalaya and parts of China. Bamboo is very adaptable, with some species being deciduous and others evergreen. The taxonomy of the bamboo remains poorly understood. Through the general consensus seems to be that bamboo numbers between 60 and 90 genera within 1100 to 1500 species. Described as the wood of the poor in India, friend of the people in China, and brother in Vietnam, bamboo is a wonder plant that grows over wide areas of Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and Latin America. Millions of people depend on this plant for their livelihood. It has become so much a part of the culture and the memory of societies that the existence of a bamboo age has not been ruled out. Jiangguyun village is a historical site. Inside this huge compound, there's one family last name Jiang. There are total 600 families and also 1,700 rooms, leaving 2,700 people. remain sacred is this drainage system. In the past 600 years, doesn't matter what season, doesn't matter how much water the villagers put inside the system, it never stops and nobody knows where the water goes. So for the 600 years, it's worked smoothly. So if you ask any villagers inside this compound, they'll tell you it's a secret. <laughs> Back then, this is the living room. They're not only receiving guests in this room, but also family members sit around. Instead of watching TV, they're watching this clock. Believe it or not, take a look at here. It's a clock. What they do is uh, they put a pole there in the middle and put a big pool in the middle of the hole. So when the sunshine coming from the skyline, they can tell the time from this setting. China, 
The exporting of fireworks has been increased in a great pace in recent 10 years. Liu Yangxi has been produced 80% of it. There are about 400 facilities in various sizes cluttered around the Liu Yang River. While we were driving into the city, I heard the city from a long distance before I saw it with my eyes. Once I reached the center of town, I discovered many fireworks shops, exhibitions, even a designated museum. For hundreds of years, Liuyang has been called the motherland of making firecrackers. And this museum has been put out by the local villagers to show the traditional way and the current way to making firecrackers. And this map shows the simple three steps of the traditional way. In the beginning is to prepare the packaging, the second procedure is preparing the gang powder, and third is packaging and the finishing. And here showing some tools, equipments, and here behind me the showing the current way get some new technology, new machinery to making the firecrackers. Also have some tools, uh, workshops. Hey, the detail of making firecrackers. I can use this to go home, learn it, write it down, so I can make my own firecrackers. According to the statistics, 80% of total exporting from China of fireworks is from this area, which means wherever you are, which corner you at, at this, you know, in the whole entire, entire world, when you lit up one of these babies, all the people, business owners here, they are laughing, they are happy. When the thing's going, they say, yeah, let it go, yeah, baby, let it go, don't stop it. When the thing's boom started going up. The whole town is cheering because there's some money. It's come up, coming back. When the beautiful patterns are coming out, you guys are watching it, and people here from Liu Yang also watching it. And also, they're laughing like that. Do you hear that? And cheering. Let it go, baby. Here's the money. Let's get some more order. More all of this, baby. Remember. It.